Hey, this is Joanna with Adventures of Miss Peach and I wanted to bring you the tour of my tiny home. I have been living in this for six months. I had it delivered May 3rd, 2024. And I wanted to be able to show you the awesome quality of Mint Tiny House out of British Columbia. Uh, it's on the outskirts of Vancouver, um, British Columbia. Anyway, so I'm super excited about it. It is the Canada Goose Arctic style and it is 41 feet long and eight and a half feet wide 13 and a half feet tall all right so here we go let's start the tour at the end of the video i will do an outside tour as you can see lots of fall leaves that i have not gotten to Oh, let's point this out. Great double French doors, which I guess that's a French door. I don't know. Um, that have glass, full glass in it. It really lends itself to um, bringing in a lot of light, which has been fantastic. All right, welcome to the cozy living room den. But notice the beams that are on the ceiling and the four candlelights. All of the lights throughout are 12 volt lights, except for my exterior um, floodlights and my fan. Let's show how it looks from here. All right, so let me tell you a few of the features in the den or the living room. I did have them add the curtain rods, so that was not standard. I thought I was gonna need to hang curtains, and now, based off of my privacy, I actually enjoy having the light to spill in. And so right now, I have no plans of adding any coverings on the windows at the moment. All right, so this is the Lunos heat recovery system. I will show you the two places that are on the wall that allow air to come in on one side of the house and it goes out on the other side and every 60 seconds the fan changes so there's constant um, ventilation and it allows for the house to have less humidity and I think it helps with the heating. I'm not totally sure. I just know that it was it was suggested and I wanted to do anything I could do to keep the um, humidity down since I live outside of Seattle. So this is the furnace on for the ground vents and this is a propane furnace. This is the wall heat electric heater and I will show you the other ones that I have. I actually have four different heating sources. Right now I just have the fireplace on. It's a Furion and you can have it just in, you know, a pretty mode like that, or you can actually have heat coming out and it's electric. And then I also have the floor heating, then I have this wall heating, but then I also have my mini split, which is a heat and air. So more than I will ever, ever need. Um, I'm definitely fine when it comes to that. So over here, down on the bottom left, I have an RV, um, smoke detector and uh, carbon dioxide. Is it monoxide or dioxide? Here we go. There you go. So that's super important. I have one in here and I have one in my bedroom. So this is the view sitting on the sofa. That vent vents out for the um, battery that is stored there. I did buy a convertible coffee table. It opens up and turns into a dining table, a large square dining table, and that's been ideal. I believe this is 81 inches long. I definitely used every single inch I could to get the largest sofa possible. So when you come in, this is the view that you see. I don't typically have the lights on up top, but you'll see in a moment what it looks like to have the lights on in the loft. 
And let's see, oh, show you which lights. This is one of the only things that I wish they would have done. Well, not the only thing. This is one of a handful of things that I wish would have been different. These lights control these um, in the den, and they're on the left, which is kind of weird, but the ones on the right control those. I have two places for my controls. Let me show you this. This is the control for, let's see, I've got the fan off. Oh, I gotta turn the fan on, I got the light on. Hi, there we go. And then this is the mini split remote. So I'll leave the light on, but I need to turn off the fan. Hopefully I do it right. All right, let me put these back. So keep it nice and neat. All right. So this layout is standard for the Canada Goose. However, I did add this um, decorative shelf that was not part of it and all the upper cabinets were additional. What comes with this base model is just having a vent hood. Did not come with a microwave. It did come with the oven and this, the three burner stove. This has worked really well. I like that this is sealed. And the oven has been really great, actually. A good size oven. I have not had any problems with it. And I have a drawer underneath, storage on the left and right. I will say I had to have this storage. Um, just, I mean, people can do with less, but I feel like I needed to have it to live um, a little bit better with ease. This is a huge microwave. It has been fantastic. I haven't even gotten around to doing the smart things on there, but it is a Samsung. Let's see what else. This typically is the overhang for dining and I chose to have them add shelving, which I've covered up because it's kind of messy because this is just where I store things. I had them add shelving, thinking I was gonna have open shelving, but then the messier it got, the more I knew I wanted to cover it up. We have exterior, two windows in, in the kitchen. And the great thing about here is this is good cross ventilation to have the windows open in the den. All right, as you see all throughout there is, um, I do have the curtain rods. Got the fan. All right, let's go up. Well, actually, okay. This, I've got a little extra storage. They really maximize the use of all the storage. This is the, um, battery that is included in the home to run like the 12 volt uh, lighting, etc. They did have extra storage in here. I use this. This is, um, oh, I forget. There's something under there, but I can't remember what it is. I'll put it on the video if I can recall. Cause yes, I think, oh, I lied. Yes, this is, yes, that's the battery. That's some kind of utilitarian thing. And then we've got more shoe storage. So coming up to my first bedroom, I've had two people come stay here. It's very bright, light and airy. I have one cot right now. I have some storage out right now. It's about, uh, I think seven by eight, maybe. This comes with a four cubby storage unit that was built in. Um, I put Velcro, strong Velcro, so I could store my holiday items without it just looking as junky. Right now I just have paper curtains paper blinds. So this is the view up here over to the other side, looking down. The 
The quality has been phenomenal. I've been very impressed. This is the circuit breaker box. Here is one of the first Lunos um, receptacles. You can't even hear that the fan is on, but every 60 seconds it does switch direction. So it's either sucking air in from outside and then pushing it out in the other room in my bedroom or it's sucking it in in there and pushing it out in here. Everything feels super sturdy. I have lived in a fifth wheel. I've lived in a Class C RV and a camper van and a truck camper. And this by far has been the best situation. All right, this is the refrigerator that came with the home. I wasn't really planning on showing y'all, but it does hold quite a bit so this is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination i decided that instead of waiting longer and longer to show you what the home looks like i might as well go ahead and do it now because nothing will ever be perfect for instance this is where the stairs are stored for up there in a minute i'm gonna have to remove my extra storage that i have there that's just reality so all right, now we're coming into the bathroom. I have a washer dryer set, a Whirlpool stackable washer and dryer set. It's been great. It holds more than you realize. In my fifth wheel, I had a washer dryer combo that was a smaller load handle and it wrinkled everything terribly. I really hated it. This has not been bad at all. I wanted to be able to dry separately. Yes, I'm storing things in there right now for the video, but it holds a good bit. Very sturdy. It's been fantastic. I lived three years without, actually longer than three years, probably five to seven years. Oh, there we go. Hi. Probably five to seven years without having my own washer and dryer. Here's the, one of the second things that I would have preferred. Had I thought about this and had more money, I would have had a larger um, vanity. This is standard. I think it's from Ikea. I brought this in myself, so I use this kind of in a way for storage because most of the time I put my dirty clothing straight into the washing machine, but I would have had one extend here since there's plenty of space. I believe it comes with a flush toilet. I upgraded it's a significant upgrade to go to the composting toilet. I also paid for the upgrade for the tile backsplash in the shower, which I'm very thankful I did. Very nice size. All right. I do want to show you that there is privacy. We have a pocket door. It does lock. And there you go. Another upgrade that I paid for was to have um, the flooring upgraded to the luxury vinyl planking. It was an engineered flooring and I didn't want that. I wanted something that was waterproof since I live in a very wet area of the country and I knew I needed to do anything I could do to protect the flooring. So let's have a backup view of what that looks like. All right, I added these shelving. Came with a, actually this lighting package is a rustic package that was also an upgrade. This is the fan that came with the bathroom. And let's see. All right. This was built in. Um, I did not add them at it. It is um, part of their base package. It's just nice to have a little extra storage or just for a decorative area. All right. This is letting me know about the Truma hot water heater. I also upgraded for this for um, a tankless hot water heater and it becomes hot right away. So that, that was definitely worth it. 
Oh, and here is my second electric wall heater. So what I'll do is I like it cold in my bedroom at night. I will probably never have the heat on in there. I open the window and then in the morning, if I want to come in here and feel warmer, I just turn it on while I'm getting dressed, etc. They have storage underneath all three. It's open. They're not um, three compartments. It's one big open area. All right. So here is the master bedroom. I'm showing you what it looks like with just the two sconces. This is how bright it is with the four hand lights. This is a single bed because I wanted to be able to fit a craft area for me. That was my priority. So that's why I chose to have a smaller bed and I had lived on this for years and it's actually one of the most comfortable beds ever. So I have been very content with that. Here is the secondary uh, Lunos receptacle. I have two closets. This one is primarily for my clothing. Of course, I have clothing underneath the bed. And then this is kind of a catch-all of everything. This is a little bit larger. I have some clothing, craft things, miscellaneous, yada, 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 just all kinds of stuff. This is the door and how it would be shut. Hold on. There we go. So, I rarely ever close it when I have guests come. Here's my closet. It's really plenty of space. I actually need to get rid of clothing. There is the third wall electric heater and another detector. As you see, there is the um, planking look for the wall. It is wallboard. Um, that already has this look. All right. So I wanted you to see what it looks like coming down the stairs. The quality is phenomenal. The finish work is fantastic. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna get my stairs into place so I can show you what the other loft looks like. All right, so I had to take it off there, flip it around to have it hang on here. I've literally only been up here to turn off the lights the initial time that I got the house. Ah, oh, so I'm doing it. I think I'm gonna have to put in the video what the size of this is, but it does fit a full-size bed. All right, here is what it's like to sit up 360 view. There we go. Probably gonna see some dust bunnies. That's pretty much it. The great thing that I love about this is that there are windows on opposing sides in both lofts to allow for airflow. We have an emergency exit in several different places. So what do y'all think? Well, here you have it. Here's my home, my tiny home on wheels. I plan on staying here in uh, Metro Seattle for many years, but I know that if I do move that I'll be able to take this with me and have it delivered. This was delivered on a short based flatbed truck. I believe it could be towed by a one ton truck, but it's not good to have the hitch in the back in the bed because of when you turn it could hit the side so it would be better to have the hitch outside of it so that's just something to be aware of this is twenty thousand pounds again it's 41 feet long eight and a half feet wide and 13 and a half feet tall which makes it roadworthy where you don't have to have special permits to transport it Here's a final video with all the lights on. What it looks like, nice and bright. As you see, it's already dark outside. It's five o'clock, 5.10 in November, 2024. And here you have it. Definitely feels better and bigger than it looks on the outside, in my opinion. I love how cozy and quaint this 
LinkedIn is, and I would love to have you come and check it out in person. If you're interested, just let me know. I did forget to tell you I had them add this as well. Um, so that was out of my pocket um, for a TV at some point. Oh, and the fan was not part of the package. It was normally three lights, three sconce lights. So several things were um, upgrades, about $20,000 in total. One more thing. One of the things that is something that I would have rather had in a different design is not to have the sliding windows. I and several of my campers and even in my van had awning windows and I could have the windows open in the rain. Here, I cannot. When I've had it open, as you can see, the water and moisture get on my paper blinds. This is my second paper blind. The other one looked even worse. I decided to be real and just leave it how it is. But that is kind of annoying. But I do at least enjoy having a cross breeze. I have this fan blowing all the time because I like a cold, a cold bedroom. So the things that I would change are the window style, having this extended. And what was the other thing? I said one other thing. Oh, the third thing was the lights. But to have like three things that need some tweaking, I don't think that is too bad at all. I am very, very pleased. Shout out to Mint Tiny House. Check them out and tell them Joanna Cirillo sent you. Go outside at night. You're gonna see the outside video during the day, but just so you can see how lit up it is at night and see the exterior lights that I added. This is a motion light. So I had that one added. It stays on, like it's off and then it comes on with motion. You can see it lit up. This one is on, but when there's motion, it starts to flicker. This was an upgrade. So in my bedroom, when I see that at night, I can look out the window, see what's going on. That makes me feel better. I added outdoor curtains there to cover up the mess of some storage. And here you go. This is what it looks like. Welcome to my tiny home. I finally have it good enough, I guess, on the outside. Things need to be done. But where I guess I'm ready to show it. It's a beautiful fall day. It is October 16th, 2024. Yes, the grass needs to be mowed. I don't really do it. I get somebody else to do it. But here we go. I've got some lights. I'll show y'all later how those are lit up. Got some Christmas, Christmas. I've got some fall decorations. They left this table here. Well, it wasn't a table. It's uh, stairs that went up to a fifth wheel that used to be on this property. And so I just use it as a table now for parties. And here we go. Here we go. All right, I know I need to get the paper to really explain all of the things, but here's my inverter for my heating and cooling unit that I have. It has a nice um, cover with mint tiny house on it here's the hookups here's for is that for a cable i don't even know i think it is of course i don't even use that so i don't even think about it here's my power hookup let's see if i can remember what this is okay i know that my batteries are in there and they're vented out and what is on the other side here? My fridge is down there. Oh, this is the fireplace, duh. 
So this is the fireplace. There's the water, water hookup. I don't have any black uh, water, but that's for later if I needed to. Here's an extra outlet that's covered. The fresh water connection with a filter. I have, you see that up there? That is part of the Lunos heat recovery ventilation system. There's the fan for my bathroom. And I think this is the exhaust for over my stove. Hopefully I'm right about that. This is the hot water heater right here. And I think, oh, and this is where I'm hooked up to water. And then under here, that's where my propane is hooked up. And there's a little kind of area that I can stack some stuff on it, but I've just decided to put these uh, outdoor curtains, make it look a little bit neater. And then this is what I call my basement. It's not huge, but it's a little bit, it's not huge, but it'll do. Mainly outdoor stuff that I need here. And then here's the dryer vent for my dryer and that's it Brianna with adventures of miss peach thanks so much for joining me if you have not subscribed to my channel it is free if you would do that that would help the youtube algorithm also throw a like and a comment on here and share it with your friends that would be great i would love to get to a thousand subscribers and be able to one day be monetized it's just a personal goal of mine anyway thanks so much for joining me i appreciate you sharing with me my exciting um, venture into owning a tiny home. This has been a dream of mine for 10 years and it finally happened and I'm so thankful to God. Thank you. Have a great day, live intentionally and be blessed.